Fermat's little theorem states that if p is a prime number, then for any integer a, the number ap minus a is an integer multiple of p. In the notation of modular arithmetic, this is expressed as a p a mod p. Display style a caret p equivalent a p m o d p. For example, if a topic. 2 and p 7 then 27 topic 128 and 128 minus 2 126 equals 7 times 18 is an integer multiple of 7 if a is not divisible by p, Fermat's little theorem is equivalent to the statement that ap minus one minus one is an integer multiple of p, or in symbols a p minus one one mod p. Display style a caret p one equivalent one p m o d p. For example, if a Topic two and p seven then twenty six. Topic sixty four and sixty four minus one. Sixty three equals seven times nine is thus a multiple of seven. Fermat's little theorem is the basis for the Fermat primality test and is one of the fundamental results of elementary number theory. The theorem is named after Pierre de Fermat, who stated it in 1640. It is called the «little theorem» to distinguish it from Fermat's last theorem. History Pierre de Fermat first stated the theorem in a letter dated October 18, 1640, to his friend and confidant Frenicle de Bessy. His formulation is equivalent to the following. If p is a prime and a is any integer not divisible by p, then a p minus 1 minus 1 is divisible by p. In fact, the original statement was Tout nombre premier monsieur infalliblement une des puissances one de quelque progression qce soit, et l'exposant de la dite puissance est sous multiple du nombre premier d'un one, et, après qu'on a trouve la première puissance qui satisfait la question, toutes celles dont les exposants sont multiples de l'exposant de la première satisfont tout de même la question. This may be translated, with explanations and formulas added in brackets for easier understanding, as Every prime number p divides necessarily one of the powers minus one of any geometric progression a a two a three. That is, there exists t such that p divides at one, and the exponent of this power t divides the given prime minus one divides p one. After one has found the first power t that satisfies the question, all those whose exponents are multiples of the exponent of the first one satisfy similarly the question. That is, all multiples of the first t have the same property. Fermat did not consider the case where a is a multiple of p nor prove his assertion, only stating et set proposition s gentlemen vrai en toutes progressions et en tous nombres premiers, de quoi je vous envoyoir la demonstration, si je en apprehendoir de tri trop long. And this proposition is generally true for all series sick and for all prime numbers, I would send you a demonstration of it, if I did not fear going on for too long. Euler provided the first published proof in 1736, in a paper titled, Theorematum Quorundum ad Numeros Primos Spectantium Demonstratio, in the Proceedings of the St. Petersburg Academy, but Leibniz had given virtually the same proof in an unpublished manuscript from sometime before 1683. The term, Fermat's Little Theorem, was probably first used in print in 1913 in Zalen Theory by Kurt Hensel. Fur jed endlich gruppi bestate nun ein Fundamentalsatz, welcher der kleiner Firmatcher Satz genannt zu verden pflegt, weil ein ganz spezieller Teil desselbens just von Fermat bewiesen worden ist. There is a fundamental theorem holding in every finite group, usually called Fermat's little theorem because Fermat was the first to have proved a very special part of it. An early use in English occurs in A.A. Albert's Modern Higher Algebra, 1937, which refers to 
the so-called little Fermat theorem on page 206. Topic: <laughs> Further history. Some mathematicians independently made the related hypothesis, sometimes incorrectly called the Chinese hypothesis, that 2p2 mod p if and only if p is prime. Indeed, the if part is true, and it is a special case of Fermat's little theorem. However, the only if part is false, for example, 2341 2 mod 341, but 341 equals 11 times 31 is a pseudoprime. See below. Proofs <laughs> 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 Several proofs of Fermat's little theorem are known. It is frequently proved as a corollary of Euler's theorem. Generalizations Euler's theorem is a generalization of Fermat's little theorem, for any modulus n and any integer a coprime to n, one has a phi n one mod n display style a caret varphi n equivalent one p m o d n, where phi n display style varphi n denotes Euler's totient function, which counts the integers between one and n that are coprime to n. Fermat's little theorem is indeed a special case because if n display style n is a prime number then phi n equals n minus 1 display style varphi n equals n1 a corollary of Euler's theorem is for every positive integer n if the integer a is coprime with n then x Y mod phi n implies a x a y mod n display style x equivalent y p m o d varphi n quad text implies quad a caret x equivalent a caret y p m o d n for any integers x and y. This follows from Euler's theorem, since if x y mod phi n display style x equivalent y p m o d varphi n, then x equals y plus k phi n display style x equals y plus k varphi n. For some integer k, and one has a x equals a y plus phi n k equals a y a phi n k a y one k a y mod n display style a caret x equals a caret y plus varphi n k equals a caret y a caret varphi n caret k equivalent a caret y one caret k equivalent a caret y p m o d n if n is prime this is also a corollary of fermat's little theorem this is widely used in modular arithmetic, because this allows reducing modular exponentiation with large exponents to exponents smaller than n. If n is not prime, this is used in public key cryptography, typically in the RSA cryptosystem in the following way, if y equals x e mod n y equals x e pmod n Retrieving x from the values of e and n is easy if one knows phi n display style n 
In fact, the extended Euclidean algorithm allows computing the modular inverse of E modulo phi n display style phi n. That is the integer f such E f one mod phi n display style f equivalent one pmod phi n. It follows that x X E F X E F Y F mod N display style X equivalent X carrot F equivalent X carrot E carrot F equivalent Y carrot F P M O D N On the other hand, if N equals P Q is the product of two prime numbers, then Phi N equals P minus one Q minus one Display style Vafi N equals P one Q one. In this case, finding F from N and E needs knowing Phi N Display style Vafi N. This is not proved, but no algorithm is known for computing F without knowing Phi n display style phi n. If one knows n and phi n display style phi n, the factors p and q are easy to deduce, as one knows their product n and their sum n minus phi n plus one display style n phi n plus one. The basic idea of RSA cryptosystem is thus: if a message X is encrypted as Y equals X E mod N, display style Y equals X caret E p m o d N. Using public values of N and E, then, with the current knowledge, it cannot be decrypted without finding the secret factors p and q of N. Fermat's little theorem is also related to the Carmichael function and Carmichael's theorem, as well as to Lagrange's theorem in group theory. Topic: <laughs> Converse. The converse of Fermat's little theorem is not generally true, as it fails for Carmichael numbers. However, a slightly stronger form of the theorem is true, and it is known as Lamer's theorem. The theorem is as follows: If there exists an integer as such that a p minus one one mod p display style a p one equivalent one p m o d p, and for all primes q dividing p minus one one has a p minus one Q one mod P display style a carrot P one Q not equivalent one P M O D P then P is prime. This theorem forms the basis for the Lucas Lama test, an important primality test. Topic pseudo primes. If a and p are co-prime numbers such that ap minus one minus one is divisible by p, then p need not be prime. If it is not, then p is called a Fermat pseudo prime to base a. The first pseudo prime to base two was found in 1820 by Pierre Frederic Saris, 341 equals 11 times 31. A number p that is a Fermat pseudo prime to base a for every number a co-prime to p is called a Carmichael number, e.g. 561. Alternately, any number p satisfying the equality G C D P equals one P minus one A P minus one equals one Display style G C D left P sum underscore a equals one carrot P one a carrot P one right equals one is either a prime or a Carmichael number. 
Topic Miller-Rabin primality test The Miller-Rabin primality test uses the following extension of Fermat's little theorem: if p is an odd prime number and p1 equals 2's d with d odd, then for every a prime to p, either add 1 mod p, or there exists t such that 0 t. This result may be deduced from Fermat's little theorem by the fact that if p is an odd prime, then the integers modulo p form a finite field in which one has exactly two square roots, 1 and minus 1. The Miller-Rabin test uses this property in the following way, given p Topic 2's d plus 1, with d odd, an odd integer for which primality has to be tested, choose randomly a such that 1 add mod p, if b is not 1 nor minus 1, then square it repeatedly modulo p until you get 1, minus 1, or have squared d times. If b does not equal 1 and minus 1 has not been obtained, then p is not prime. Otherwise, p may be prime or not. If p is not prime, the probability that this is proved by the test is higher than one quarter. Therefore, after k non-conclusive random tests, the probability that p is not prime is lower than three quarters k, and may thus be made as low as desired by increasing k. In summary, the test either proves that a number is not prime, or asserts that it is prime with a probability of error that may be chosen as low as desired. The test is very simple to implement and computationally more efficient than all known deterministic tests. Therefore, it is generally used before starting a proof of primality. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes. <laughs>